So now we're going to continue on with the uh, how to calculate how much of a liquid or, or contaminant is absorbed into a liquid. So uh, I'm not sure quite where we left off, but I think we left off with something like this, where we now can plug in this all the way down here. So we have Vn minus 1 is equal to Ln minus 2 plus V1. So we'll plug that in right there. So now we get Ln minus 1 is equal to Ln minus 2 plus V1 times A N minus 1. And then we know what Ln minus 1 is. So up here we didn't know what Ln minus 1 was. So now we'll take this and we'll plug it in up here. So then Ln is equal to V1 plus Ln minus 2 plus V1 times a n minus 1 all times a n. So we get that. And if we repeated the process over and over again, you would see that all you're doing are you all that you are doing is is just adding in something like this where this could also equal I mean if you just repeat the process going through it again, the next equation that we'd plug in is be ln minus 2 is equal to ln minus 3 plus v1 an minus 2. So then you plug this right there. And you just keep doing it. So then ln is equal to v1 plus plus um, ln minus 3 plus V1 times A N minus 2 plus make sure I'm doing this right whoops that's there too plus O V1 A N minus 1 times a n. And you just keep repeating the process over and over and over again until you get to L1 is equal to V1 A1. That's what L L1 is equal to. So then if we know what L1 is equal to and let's say this goes down to L1, let's say n minus 3 is equal to L1, then we just plug this right there. So what it really just turns out to be is that, what it turns out to be is that Ln is equal to V1 times A1, A2, A3, A4, dot, 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 to a n, so it's all the way to a n, plus a 2, a 3, a 4, a to a n, and then you continue on, and you get a 3 plus a 4, and so on, to a n, until you finally just get to, you finally just get to, whoops, plus a n.